for you kids. This experiment is about Newton's first law. Then what is Newton's first law? Newton's first law states that an object in rest will stay in rest. An object in motion will stay in motion until a force is applied on it. Now let's do our exciting experiment. What you need for the experiment is a glass cup with water. I use food coloring and water so you could see it better. And a dish with food coloring. And another cup of food coloring. And we also have a cloth. What we need to do is just tug on the cloth. I'm going to build up my body. <clears throat> In ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you ready? And zero. Go! so they can stick. But now I'm going to put a big force on it so you will see what happens. Whoa! You can see that the cup of water stays at rest but only the index card goes in motion. What is that of? That's because of Newton's first law. This was in rest, but the but the index card or the paper was in motion. You can see it. If it was in slow motion, like like slow, like in the first, then the cup will go with it. What is Newton's first law? Newton's first law says that an object in rest will stay in rest. And an object in motion will stay in motion until a force stops it. Which means, if there's an object and it's on rest, it will stay in rest. But if there's a force going pushing it, then it will go into motion. And if a force stops the motion when it goes in motion, then it will stop. Now we did a fun experiment about friction and we also saw that... This part 
was uh, because of Newton's first law. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun science experiments. See you next time. Bye. Hello everyone. This is my favorite experiment about Newton's first law. Please have an adult next to you when you're doing this experiment. And wash your hands after you did this experiment because of the eggs. This experiment is about Newton's first law. What is Newton's first law? Newton's first law states that an object in rest will stay in rest, an object in motion will stay in motion until a force until a force stops it. Now let's do our experiment. What you need for the experiment is a glass cup of water, a bathroom tissue roll, a cardboard piece, and an egg. You first got to get your cardboard and put it on top. It got, got to cover the hole in the cup. It got to cover like this. Then get your bathroom tissue roll, put it on top. Then get your egg and put it also on the top. Now what we do is we hit this cardboard box. Now let's do it in one, two, and three. Whoa! I did it! I am the winner! Okay, so how that happened was the egg went inside because the egg went inside because the egg was the only one who was in rest but the cardboard box and the toilet, the bathroom tissue roll were in motion, but the egg was just in rest. So we just fell down into the water, except going here or going here and cracking. Why did we put water? And why? And what? Why did we put water in here? And what will happen if we do not put water? Why we put in water in here? If we drop the egg, it will not crack. But if we did not put water in there and then dropped it, the egg will crack and break. Science is fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun science experiments. See you next time. Bye. Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to do two experiments about Newton's first law. Please have an adult next to you while you are doing this experiment for your safety. And safety is important for you kids. We are going to do two experiments about Newton's first law. Then what is Newton's first law? Newton's first law is an object in rest will stay in rest. An object in motion will stay in motion unless uh, acted upon by an external force. Now let's do our two experiments. For the first experiment, you will need some blocks like these and you got to line them up like this. You can see now they're in rest, but now I'm going to put a, put a force on them and you can see what happens. Now it is in rest because I gave an external force on it. 
and if you give a force again then it will do be in motion but after some time it will stop even though you did not put a force on it because of the air resistance if you um, put this for a long time after some time the air will make it stop if you do this experiment and leave it in motion in a vacuum or in moon you can see that the pendulum will keep on being in motion because there's no air to stop it now we did two experiments about newton's first law and newton's first law was a object in rest will stay in rest a object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by a external force thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel for more fun science experiments see you next time bye hello everyone today we are going to do an experiment about newton's first law what is Newton's first law? Newton's first law says that an object in rest will stay in rest. If there's a force on it, it will be in motion. And an object in motion will stay in motion until a force is making it stop. Now let's do our experiment. What you need for the experiment is an empty glass cup. A coin and an index card. You can use a paper. First, get your empty glass cup, put it the right way up, then get your index card or paper, then put that on top of the glass cup, and then get your coin and put that on top. First, you get your hand and Hold it on the paper and then pull it slowly, not fast, slowly. You can see that the penny is going with the paper. Why that happen? Because the coin stays on the paper because the force applied on the paper wasn't greater than the frictional force. Now the other experiment we're going to do is we get our same empty glass cup, get our same index paper card, or you can use a paper, and you will also need your penny. First get your empty glass cup, put it on top, same, and then get your index card or plain paper, and then put it on top of the gl empty glass cup, then get your coin and put that on top of the index card or paper. But what now we are doing, we're not going to pull it slowly. We're going to snap it with our finger. So first put it steadily, get your hand and whoa! Did you see that the penny went in except going with the paper of the before experiment. How that happened was because the coin stayed in one place because the paper was great enough counteract to the frictional force. Now we, now we did some experiments and learned about Newton's first law. Please subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.